Hello, my friends. May God bless all of you in the name of the Lord Jesus. And as I have spoken here, the blessing of God depends on each of us. Because God promised, and what He promised, He does and He will do within His will. But for us to take possession of what He promised, He demands from each of us belief, faith. He demands that we believe in His words. But then the person asks, But I've been believing in God. I believe in His word. I believe that God exists. I believe, I believe. But... The belief which God demands from each of us is a belief that is assumed, like marriage, which is a covenant. When you marry God, when you become His ally, then you become one with Him. So His promises are materialized in our lives. So it's important, my friend, for you to understand that what we are in need of from God obviously depends on each of us. It depends on our actions in regards to Him. At times, a religious person, a person of faith, but this person does not fulfill the principles of faith. Please excuse me just for a second. Excuse me. Thank you. Very well. So, from one side, God fulfills His promise. On the other hand, there are those who believe and those who do not believe. Those who believe are those who dive. They throw themselves in their lives. They surrender their lives, their spirit, their soul, their body, 100% to that which God promised. So see, for example, what Jesus says. He said, Woe to you, scribes and Pharisees, hypocrites. As the scribes and Pharisees at that time, when Jesus spoke, they were religious. Probably, they sought to fulfill that which they learned from childhood. But there was hypocrisy because they thought, Oh, I keep the Sabbath, I don't eat pork, I don't do this or that, etc. They would give the tithe, they would return the tithe. And this is something a Jew learns from a young age to return the tithe. They would do this naturally. However, They ignored the principles, the obligations of the fulfillment of the Word of God, not in the sense of practicing certain things, but to practice what was more important, which was the moral side. Because Jesus said, For you pay the tithe of mint, anise, and cumin and have neglected the weightier matters of the law. The law speaks of tithe and offering, but the law speaks of the most important, which are the law, 
which represents God the Father. Ou melhor, desculpa, Excuse me. O mais da lei, o juiz, neglected the weightier matters of the law. It's three things of the law. Justice, which represents the Father. Mercy, who represents the Son who died on the cross. And faith, belief, faith. But the living faith, the faith of marriage, of a covenant, the faith which involves one with the other who believes for all eternity, where there is no return, there is no divorce, there is no separation. It doesn't exist. When you believe in God, there is no way for you to go back because you marry Him and you and Him become one, as the scripture says. So, my friend, this is important. At times a person is religious, faithful in the doctrines of the church and the denomination, but they forget forgiveness. He cannot forgive, for example. What's the point of you being loyal and faithful in returning your tithe, your offering, to do charitable deeds, but you don't forgive? It's pointless. It's pointless. What's the point of you being faithful in the tithe and offering, in the donations, in your compassion? You are a person who is charitable, you're good, but you keep within yourself resentments against others you don't forgive. What's the point? On one side you do the right thing, but on the other hand you do the wrong. And you say to yourself, I don't forgive that person. That person destroyed my marriage. I had a beautiful family. But that person entered my life, my family, and destroyed my marriage. However, you are even being unjust because your husband left. Your husband got involved with the other person, or vice versa, or the wife did so to the husband. So, what happens is that people seek to do what is easy because it's easy for you to return the tithe. It's easy for you to return and give the offering. It's easy for you to do charitable deeds. Difficult is for you to forgive. Difficult is for you to consider another person. Difficult is for you to pray for your enemies, isn't it? This is the truth. What is easy within religion, a person does. But whatever involves sacrifice, especially of the soul, then things start to heat up. And this is what you need to evaluate in your own life. That you do not have a faith, which we can say is vulgar. Muslims have faith. Catholics have faith. Spiritists have faith. The sorcerer has faith. The Buddhists have faith. All the religions have faith. But not all of them are capable of forgiving and even to pray for those who have persecuted them. Is it not true? We will speak more about this tomorrow. God bless you all in the name of the Lord Jesus. Oh, I'd like to leave a message for you. You who know a person who is lost, rejected, excluded from society. You know a person who is suffering. Bring them this Sunday because in all the universal churches of the kingdom of God, we're going to have the challenge of change of life for those who are being rejected. God is so merciful, so great, so glorious that seeing Leah, the wife of Jacob, was despised. He opened her womb and she gave birth to many children. So God honored Leah meaning God honors the despised. Sunday, in all the universal churches of the kingdom of God. God bless you all in the name of the Lord Jesus. Amen.